Hi guys, I'm just going to take you through the audio system on the new Range Rover Sport. Right, all you do is click on Home Menu, which will take you to this screen here. Then all you do is to go on the radio, is click Audio Video, and you'll see radio there. I'll take you to that screen there, it's so obviously you've got a selection of the radio stations in your area. All you click on is that arrow here, uh, to, uh, to go on the next channel, or basically you can just go on your own fingertips like that, just click that. Um, if you want to, you can use the steering wheel here, uh, which will obviously just use that there. Right, I'll take you under this setting here, which is DAB, radio. That basically takes you further afield um, and searches for radio stations. Um, that'll be further from your town in the country. Uh, they'll give you a longer list of radio stations that you might prefer, um, which is a good setting to have. Um, also, we've got My Music which is basically a more personalised library of your own music, but I haven't got my own disc in there. Um, so basically, if you want your own music, you can have that as well. Right, I'll take us back to the home menu. Also got my video, which is basically a DVD. Um, so if you've got your own DVDs, you can play that as well. Um, so that can show as well, which is quite, uh, it's quite nice. Right, okay, what we'll do is now we'll go on Nav, over here which is basically the satellite navigation which just shows where you are or where you want to go it's also got the um, home coming control as well so basically you can set your own home address um, so as you're driving uh, from anywhere you just need to click a button basically it'll take you straight back to your own home right pop a CD in there now so basically I'm going to show you um, how to play a CD it's basically all you do is uh, to change the track just click that as well I've got my volume on mute at the moment, and so that's why it's it's silent. Um, also got the track list there, so basically it's got all your tracks down there, so you can just pick number three if you want to have four, and you carry on going down the track list like that. I'll take us back to the settings now. Um, also what we've got there is settings of your CDs you might want to obviously, and sometimes you can have your news which is on. So basically if the headlines are on or anything important on the news, your CD will flick off for like um, 30 seconds a minute and then it will go back to it. Um, you've got your page jump there, uh, which obviously we don't need that at the moment. Audio settings, your bass, you might that one higher, you might want it lower, it's totally up to you. Basically we've got balance fade, um, and where you want the sound around the car. Um, so you might want it a lot more at the front, more at the back, totally up to you. Obviously that resets it all, but we won't do that. So once that takes us back, so what we'll do is now we'll go back to the home menu. Right, I'm going to talk about the voice control now. So all you do is press that button there, on the steering wheel. <coughs> Navigation. Navigation. So basically it just brings you to the menu of where you want to go. Uh, so if you want to go on... Sorry. Please say a command. Radio. Radio. Play. Radio. Play. Right, at the moment I've got it on mute. Um, I don't actually play it, because I don't think YouTube would probably let me. Uh, but at least you get the picture anyway that it does actually work through the voice control. Um, so, there you go. Right, I'm going to talk about how to connect the phone to the Range Rover Sport. All you do is press that button there, search new, push that button there. Right, it's now going to search for my iPhone. Um, I've got an iPhone 4, so all I'm going to do is go on the, um, on the settings and show on Bluetooth. Right, it's now searching uh, for my phone, so hopefully this should... Right, it's now asking for my PIN, so I'll put that PIN number in. Two, and I'll pair it. iPhone is trying to pair. Do you want to add this device? Yes. Right, I'll put my, my PIN code in, I'll keep it basic. Right, here's the phone book now. Um, I basically connected that to my iPhone 4. Um, so now what you've got here um, is the keypad. Uh, you've got your 
phone book there so you can click that obviously search for all your names through there if you want to go back uh, we've got the last 10 um, people you've called um, you can also if you want to you can change your phone um, obviously I'm not going to do that because I've just got the one phone um, also what this actually does show is the lifeline on your battery which is there um, so I've got some bars left which is not a lot but obviously it lasts me hopefully the full day um, it's also got the this button here which if you've got some phone numbers you've typed in you can also maybe delete them also on the phone system as well it's, all, it's also got settings uh, so basically either hit voicemail answer options and phone options as well um, so basically you can just have a mess around with whatever you want and how you want to personalise your phone so somebody calls you um, on hands free how it's going to ring um, so there's quite a few options to choose from there as well right here we've got phone options which basically you can go on on ringtone so whatever you want to and you can pick your own ringtone so I'll click on that now um, so now you can do your handset ringtone or your car ringtone as well um, so you've got your personalised option there of how you want to um, actually ring in your car 